Thank you, Guy Björk. <clears throat> very nice to be here. I know this is a very bad place to start after a lot of food. So I hope you also have managed to have a, a cup of coffee. Um, as Guðbjörg said, the, this, uh, oh, where am I? Okay, sorry, yeah, I am, I am supposed to be the, the technical expert of this conference, and you see what, what, how, how, I'm, how I'm doing it? Uh, Guðbjörg said that this was uh, supposed to be one of these flagships. Have you heard of these constant flagships that are leaving the port of, of uh, the port of the European Union? I think uh, Erasmus Plus was one of the most recent, Horizon 2020, and now there is the new skills agenda. I would like to stress that we did invite somebody from the European Commission to come and talk about it, but they couldn't come all the way to Iceland, so I said, okay, I will do it. <laughs> but first of all, why to create a new skills agenda? And the reasons for it are, you know, listed above you. I, I suppose you have heard all of them. You know, the low level of literacy or not adequate level, level of literacy, that two-fifths of citizens have low or no digital skills, which is very serious, especially in the light of what uh, Jana was saying before. How are we supposed to reach the low-skilled people if they don't go to the internet? We heard recently that, what, fifth, how many million Brits were, have 5.3 million people living in the United States had never, ever been on the internet. The United Kingdom. In the, uh, sorry, United Kingdom, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. And for us, this is probably, in the Nordic countries, this is probably a figure we can't even understand. We, we don't have similar figures for all the Nordic countries because, for example, uh, the other four have participated in PIAC, so you have some statistics for them. But, for example, in Iceland, we don't know. Our people, you know, most people, and when we say they are on the internet, sure, yeah, they go on Facebook, they look at uh, uh, videos of their grandchildren or, you know, videos of small kittens. You know, I knew the elections in Iceland were over when we had small kittens again on Facebook. <laughs> I had missed them. Uh, and of course, for us in Iceland, it's very serious how many people lack uh, upper secondary education. We, we are, you know, we are really hiding our faces in shame often. And for you who are working in adult education, that there is, you know, this 10% figure is an average. And I think probably it's higher in, in Nordic countries, but in many countries in Europe, no adults are participating in adult learning. You go through school, you come out of school with whatever paper you have or no paper at all, and that's it. Uh, you don't get a second chance. This is, the, this is a big problem because also what does it mean to get a second chance? Does it mean starting where you left? Does it mean starting at a new level? Or what does it mean? The new skills agenda are some, some initiatives where um, you're supposed to make sure, you are supposed to make sure that people get the right training. Young people get the appropriate first training and adults get retraining as they may need it. There is, of course, the um, emphasis on digital skills. And what concerns you most here is what is called the skills guarantee. Now we are supposed to get a video. Now we'll see. So it opens. <laughs> Almost 70 million Europeans struggle with reading and writing. Even more have poor numeracy and digital skills. This is why the European Commission proposes a skills guarantee to give people a second chance to learn basic skills and help people who haven't finished school. The skills guarantee will help Candice gain the qualification she needs to work in the IT sector and do her dream job. Step one, the skills guarantee will provide Candice with an assessment of her skills to identify existing skills and upskilling needs. Step two, 
Candies will receive a tailored learning offer adapted to her specific situation. Step 3. Her newly learned skills will be certified. Yuri struggles with reading and writing and has difficulties coping with changes at the workplace. Through the skills guarantee, his employer can help him improve his basic skills so that he can keep up with his job. Candies and Yuri's new skills will be recognized and improve their work prospects. The skills guarantee will support member states to help people improve their skills and have them recognized. Europe's future prosperity depends on its people. Member states, regions, local authorities, employers, trade unions, civil society and education and training providers all working together are the key to give people the skills they need. Isn't it beautiful? Do you think it will do you think it will work? Hmm? Do you think it will it work? Because we call it a, a new skills agenda and we call it a skills guarantee. Now I have to get this off. Help! You need skilled workers. Oh, That's God. where vocational education oh, and training comes in. Quality vocation. Yeah. So and skill. Well, so and video. Okay. So back to where we were. Yeah. So and oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I should never have said I knew anything about ICT. <laughs> I know, I know. Anyway, uh, so the, what it really means when we come down to it, what the European Commission wants to do is to merge all sorts of activities. You know, Europass, Euroguidance, EQF, ESCO, and EURES. The plan is, and I, I think they've started it, they're going to open a huge portal. And there people are supposed to be able to enter and get all the necessary information they need to be able to continue in life. There's going to be self-assessment tools and, you know, whatever. ESCO is, basically they want to make a descriptions of all jobs in Europe. They're starting with 3,000 in English, but then there's going to be translation into 27 languages. So people are supposed to find information there about education, about jobs, whatever they need for their uh, f further life. And how does it concern you here? If this is to be a success, when councillors are the key people in making it work. Because I don't think many people, let alone you know, unskilled or low-skilled people, will be able to enter this brave new world without some sort of guidance. They will be lost. It's going to be huge. It's going to be complicated. It's going to be in a language that might be difficult for people to understand. Who is going to assist them with this skills guarantee? Who is going to assist them with uh, getting validation for non-formal, informal learning? Um, who is going to assist them with finding all these wonderful opportunities in the labor market? And who is going to work with the regional, local, national authorities in making sure there is a seamless service for everybody? It's people like you, that's, that's who. So those of you who are here for the contact seminar tomorrow, when you start trying to build projects, these are some ideas that you could use that would fit into this new skills agenda. Of course, the validation, but also new different possibilities for adult learning, uh, utilization of social media, like uh, Jan was talking about, and using this new um, wonderful e-portfolio uh, and also the databases. I mean, we here in Iceland are building two. We are building one on learning opportunity and another one on qualification. Then you have the ESCO database. You will have all these wonderful databases linking into it. And you will have to teach people how to use these. And then, of course, there are these vulnerable groups. 
I mean, we could think of un the unemployed, immigrants, prisoners. You mean there is a lot of vulnerable groups. I mean, I I had put down I had put down women, but then I thought, no, it's the men who are the vulnerable groups. So you know, <laughs> yeah. So you know, it, it's difficult to tell. But for those who want to read further, you have in your folder this new publication that uh, Margaret ordered from from the Commission. It's called the uh, New Skills Agenda something. <laughs> yeah? 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 And there is, the, there is the web, the New Skills Agenda web, and then there is a lot of uh, publications from CEDEFOB on uh, re re related to the New Skills Agenda. Thank you very much. Was this brief enough, Guðbjörg? No, correct. Yeah. Oh,